Welcome to Mario Lady, hi I'm Ed Cruz and this is the last lesson. This is episode 26 and we'll call this Tension to Define. Okay, Tension to Define is a lot of times think of it that you need you need a certain amount of readiness within a move or in a position to immediately react, right? Um, I, I always liken it to the example that, for example, if I'm standing and let's say I'm too relaxed. Before I can say, ready, set, go, I have to inflate my body and then now I can take that step, right? Or another example is um, I'm at a tension like this, ready, set, go, well, I can't move because I'm too tight, I have to relax my body and then I can take my, my step. Then at the fi final, final, final section is you have the right ready position, right amount of tension. And it's like, where is it? Oh, now I can move right away. So finding that tension is very necessary when having and properly ex executing the right hand techniques. So I want you to look at a simple motion that we, we do all the time in Wing Chun, we practice. Right, we have uh, Tan Za Bang Za, okay? So I'm, I'm Tan, uh, Tan Bang, right? And it looks, looks okay, right? I'm doing the Tan Za Bang Za motion. But if you look at it, you understand what you're looking for. You're looking for the right kind of definition of that motion. So if it's not properly inflated, if it doesn't have the right amount of tension, you won't be able to release the power properly. And it kind of looks flicky, flicky in the motion. Like if I'm going here, it doesn't look like it has this motion. Now look at the difference now here. Now I'm gonna put a little more concentration on the index and thumb. When I, when I say concentration, it's not like I'm squeezing or anything. It's just basically how much I need to point. Okay, that's how much I need to point. So from here, now I'm pointing, bong and tan, and look at the difference of the hand technique by just having the focus of that tension to inflate the entire arm to the right amount so it can release the power. It makes that big of a deal. So in Wing Chun, we're very nitpicky as far as the position of the mo position of the technique, um, the, the 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 motion itself, the overall tension in the arm, the functionality of all the joints working, and we are very uh, aware of what needs to be done because what you want is you want that definition in motion. Look how when I do a motion, you see it. I'm not trying to emphasize it or trying to put power, but I just have this boom. See the motion, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Enough motion just to make it move and not trying to force any power, but you see definition in that, in that motion when I go from bong to tan and tan to bong and so forth. Now I take a little bit of the inflation off or the tension off and then, right? Or I make it too tight, right? Right? So notice all that matters, just the right amount to make that motion move, to hold that position and so forth is necessary. Too much and it's no good as well. Or too relaxed and then you don't have the definition. You need, you remember, every motion should be done so you actually release the power. Otherwise, if that power is still held within the hand, it's no good. So when you do that, so how do you practice this besides hand motion and awareness and so forth like that? It comes with a punch. Because in the beginning when you work with a punch, right, you always feel like at the end, Squeeze the power, squeeze the power, squeeze the power. You don't ever squeeze the power, right? Simply, I, the, the motion in itself, if I, if I hold it smooth, see, I'm not, I'm not forcing anything. I just go straight, shoot. See, defined, defined. Now, if I don't have the right tension or right movement, it looks kind of weird. It doesn't look as clean, but one simple motion, you can see the unity in the throwing of the punch my body and the, and the legs going in sync automatically without me having to put any effort at all when doing that motion. So in the end, that is the focus that you have to have. That, that this, a lot of times, this index and thumb finger, in, index and thumb, creates a little muscle here. If you don't squeeze it, it's just there, it exists there, enough that where I go, point. See how I point towards you? And by having that amount of tension, now notice that the, from here, your hand motions start looking better and cleaner. Right? But if it's like this, you don't have the right tension like this, you won't be able to finally finish the move and release the power. All right, something to think about? Think about it.